And we're going to start with some living books. This one is uh, New Kid on the Block. Let's have a look. Um, I did the right thing. I went through and play tested everything just to make sure it ran. So we shouldn't have too many fuck ups on stream. I'll turn it down a little in my ears. But yeah, not too many living books yet left, as I said. I think, what have we got? Um, Chill, Ray the Brave. Uh, green eggs and ham and something else and that's it for um for living books which sucks a little bit but um they have been fun they have been pretty good but yeah no idea what this one entails the new kid on the block poems by jack Prilecki. yeah so um i had a quick look at jack jack Prilecki and um yeah he's a big poet there's the boy himself hi i'm jack Prilecki. welcome to Prilecki. living books that's it. okay I wrote the poems in The New Kid on the Block. Though I'm usually a poet, today I'll be your guide. Yeah, so pick I... a poem, oh, I'll let click it finish. on the arrows, yeah. till you find one you'd like to hear. To have a poem read to you, click Read to Me. To play <laughs> inside a poem, <laughs> click patronizing there, Jack. Let Me Play. Yeah, okay. I don't know if he's going to do a song or anything, but I'll, I'll just talk over While it now. While you're deciding... I'll sing you a poem called Alligators Are Unfriendly. Oh, okay. All right, I got a guitar. Alligators are unfriendly. They are easily upset. <laughs> I suspect that I would never care to have one for a pet. Oh, I know they do not bellow, and I think they do not shed. But yeah, he's I'd definitely um, be nervous pretty folky, like, um, in my bed. yeah, a bit like David Maloney. Yeah, look at him go. But yeah, so I read interesting th articles on his, uh, interesting things on his Wikipedia. Um, not clever. did a lot of odd jobs when he was board. younger. They can't um, or catch a frisbee. was singing in a they coffee shop and he, um, met and befriended, uh, Bob Dylan of all people. Just sweet. liked his style. Won't even fetch your and I must, I, I missed it. I must have missed it. But so yeah, he's in a couple of early feet. seasons of, uh, no, he's in the one early season of, um, Arthur doing some poetry as well. But, um, yeah, let's, let's try when Tilly ate the chili. Okay. All right. And a very slow fade out. Okay. When Tilly ate the chili, she erupted from her seat. <gasps> she gulped a quart of water and fled screaming yeah. down the street. Not very educational. Milk's better. Milk and yogurt's better for um, cooling your throat down. There's something in water specifically that actually reacts with... Um, with your um <laughs> with the spice oh that's that's all we get yeah <laughs> usually when your chili's boiling i know it has that sort of weird glow to it but um yeah that's it's a little hot she coughed <laughs> she wheezed <laughs> she that's a wheeze <laughs> I wonder if he does the um the artwork as well. Oh, no, I'm totally fine. Just, just chili's boiling away. I'm still gonna finish it. She ran totally amok. <laughs> she set a new world record as she raced around the block. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's annoying. You don't get different um hotspots to click on on each page. But I guess with Chili's it's mouth little more fire. compressed because we're doing smaller um poems this time. <laughs> Rather than a full story. Tilly's eyes were red with tears. <laughs> she was smoking from her nostrils. <laughs> Who was in Photoshop clearly didn't fill in the color on she the was eyes there. steaming from her ears. It just cheaped out and went fill tool. Yeah, I remember you couldn't set the threshold on fill tool either. You just sort of make do with what she you had. She cooled off an hour later, showing perfect self-control as she said, What? Tasty chili. I should like another bowl. You're a bit of a bit of a masochist, aren't you, Tilly? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. That's straightforward. I guess that's it. For, yeah, that's it for the poem. Alright. Oh, and we can just skip on to the next poem. Okay, no, that's My cool. My baby brother is so small. 
He hasn't even learned to crawl. He's only been around a week. And all he seems to do is ball and wiggle. <laughs> Sleep. And leap. Yeah, that sounds like the standard Saturday for me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Does he piss himself again? No, it just gives us a wave. Yeah, that was the other thing. I, there was a little bit of... I didn't know anything about it, but there was a bit of a stigma that came up with um, Arthur recently. They apparently... So BLM happened and they farted out this quick little short between Arthur and Buster talking about it and obvious pandering. So they, yeah, and it got a pretty heavy dislike to like ratio on the YouTubes and it got taken down. But um, yeah, like pretty much any company that did that, I just dropped. Like Warframe did that, so I don't play Warframe anymore. This is the There's new kid. There's a new kid on the block. <laughs> An ugly little bugger. And boy, that kid is tough. That new kid punches hard. <laughs> that new kid plays real rough. This is starting to sound like um, Jeremy from the uh, Pearl Jam song. That new kid's big and strong. With muscles everywhere. That new kid tweaked my arm. That new kid pulled my why is he, hair. Why is he doing it to himself, though? Okay. Is that the that twist? New the new kid, kid is just me? Fight <laughs> and picks on all the guys. That new kid scares me some. That new kid's twice my size. That reminds me of um, little Critter from the Mercer Maya stuff as that well. That new kid stomped my toes. That new kid swiped my ball. <laughs> that new kid sounds like he needs a um, two by four upside really the head. Bad. I don't care for ah, her oh. at all. Well, that's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that that can't be healthy for you long term. Getting bashed up by a girl. <clears throat> maybe that's maybe some romance might come of it. My it's, dog. I don't know. He is an ugly dog. I have heard he that, like, the kids wrong. that annoy other kids fairly often are kind are of attracted to him. For him. I don't know. His ears are much too long. Yeah, nothing wrong with having an ugly dog. It's so cute in their own My way. It, it comes down to more personality dog. then, doesn't it? He's missing clumps of hmm. hair. Sorry, yeah, the heat makes me itch a little more, so I'm going to be scratching ridiculous. more often. His tail is scarcely there. No, it looks pretty My cute, dog, though. He is a dingy dog. His fur is full Did he just... of fleas. <laughs> Did he fart and it sounds like a fucking backfire like and on exhaust? Socks. I don't know. He sometimes smells like cheese. Yeah, and it's your responsibility to bath and dogs don't clean themselves. My dog, he's a noisy dog. He's hardly ever still. He barks at almost anything. His voice is loud and shrill. Okay. My dog... He's a stupid dog. His <laughs> mind is slow and thick. He's I'm actually interested to know why, to like, teachers and stuff got all turned away from dance caps. Like, your kids he are still plenty of deserving of them. A stick. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they've made the clearer He's distinction of, um, you know, between he stupid kids and kids with actual learning difficulties. It's a lot easier to His diagnose doubt nowadays. To the ground. He is the dog. For me. Yeah, that's it. Good we got a happy ending out of that one. That's cute. Does he do anything 
Dog. <laughs> is, that a, is that like a reverse anamorph? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how many. I, I should have clicked through to see how many poems there were, but yeah. We've got plenty to go off here at the moment. My brother's head should be replaced. It's lighter it's than white. a feather. He's trying to use tomato paste. To paste tomatoes together. Why? <laughs> Why? Yes, all right. No, I'm, I'm totally on board with this. Your brother's head does need to be replaced. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was it for the, that one. Okay. Blah, blah. When Dracula went to the blood bank, he thoroughly flustered the staff. For rather than make it on Yeah, and I still like that, um... He threw out. Like, you still have depictions of Dracula as... Yummy. Like the old school Bella Lugosi slash um, Christopher Lee version. Just a nice little tribute to them. Like it's still going on with like um, Hotel Transylvania and stuff. I actually have a spot, soft spot for them because they're done by, um, they're the very least directed by um, Jendi Tartakovsky, like Samurai Jack and Primal fame. Still waiting on more Primal. I love my Primal. We're 40 performing bananas. In bright yellow slippery skins, our features are rather appealing, though we appealing. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> oh, we I probably. Fandango, yeah, fandango. I click on the bananas we too, don't I? And we skip and we hop, while half of us spelt out a ballad, the rest of us spin like a top. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, just okay. That's a little bit slack for um hotspots this time around. Oh, well. we're forty performing bananas. We mumble, we samba, we waltz, we dangle and swing from the ceiling, then turn very slick somersaults. Yeah, all right. People drive here in bunches to see us. Our splits earn us worldly renown. We're 40 performing bananas. Come see us when you are in town. Hmm. I imagine there's a bit of a high turnover on them because, you know, bananas rot and, you know, go off, over ripen eventually. Mm hmm. Oh. Bit of a. Its fangs were red with bloody gore. <laughs> Shit, all right. A bit darker for a kid to one. With menace. Mm. Yeah, oh, he does not like me poking him. Okay. It battered down my bedroom door and burst across my bedroom floor. <laughs> What's with the JoJo poses, though? Resounding roar said, <laughs> Oh, wow, they actually worked out voice modulation. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Um. Oh no, still posing. Alright. That's all he does, though. So. Okay. Alright, moving along. Oh, Mabel. Remarkable Mabel. Have your I just inadvertently come into like an early mukbang? You eat with your feet on the table while a teaspoon sticks out of your ear. Yeah, you're a weird one, Mabel. I still have a fondness for, um, there's an old Donald Duck short film where he has his cousin Gus come over and they have this, like, yeah, he, I, I think they're trying to, yeah, no, he, basically the, the cousin Gus raids his whole larder and there's some interesting stuff with, um, Your mouth opens what, wide what they do with food. Wider as you shovel six hamburgers in. Your elbow yeah, that's right. They're both like sight. sucking up straws to um, <laughs> capture the last pea or something. Essentially, all over your chin. This is. I'm sure this is a fetish for someone. Do we get anything if we click on the stuff though? Yeah, donut, um, salsa. Sounds <laughs> like a shit I dropped earlier. All right, but butter. uh, oh, just <laughs> this is butter. We can't do anything exciting with it. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Mabel's in your lap, like <laughs> doing well on her own channel at the moment. Mm. Ugh. I hope that was all linguine. Your toes cling to slices of bread. Your knees balance <laughs> pounds of zucchini. <laughs> There's a pudding on top of your head. Terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Still very terrifying. No, moving along, <laughs> moving along Your quickly. No. Spread thickly with butter. Your shoulders hold pickles in brine. Oh, Mabel, you may make me mutter, but it's wonderful watching you dine. Yeah, actual mukbang fetishist, right there. <laughs> it's part of the poem. <laughs> Oh, that's that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> well, it's definitely the most interesting one we've seen so far. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking shadows. I spied my shadow slinking up behind me in the night. I issued it a challenge, and we started into fight. <laughs> I oh, tell me I can unlock some sort of fighting mini game. <laughs> no, it's me and my shadow. Hey, your shadow's a bit. Hey, dude, you gotta be careful, mate. He's bigger than you at the moment. I wrestled with that shadow, but it wasn't any fun. I tried my very hardest. All the same, my shadow. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. They're putting a little more effort into. The non-interactive parts, like bit better animation and the like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving along again. I've got an incredible headache. My temples are. Throbbing with pain. <laughs> it Stop, feels like Dump a freight song. train with two locomotives is chugging about in my brain. Yeah, that's normally how migraines are described to me. I'm very glad I've never really had one before. I'm sure I've had like, you know, dehydration headaches after longer. a night on the piss, but that's about it. My skull's being squeezed in a vice. Actually, no, it was getting pretty bad headaches. I got I got hit in the head with a bin at As work. Regiments march to the like um, of trumpets. We got one of those like friction based and ones that stays in certain positions. Um, and you can sort of like push or pull it down. And what had happened? It had gone like fully vertical like that. I hadn't noticed. I'm putting stuff in the bin. And the whole thing slams down, and it only just like clipped me, um, because I thankfully it was the bin I was it hit the bin I was um noises. emptying into the into it first. Still gave me a good knock though. Melons inside. But yeah, no, like for the a full week after I had like decent bloody headaches. As porpoises thrash in the tide. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty nasty head headache, right? Stampeding. <laughs> a volcano is blowing its top. And if I keep hitting my head with this hammer, <laughs> I doubt that my headache will stop. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's going to help much. <laughs> Fucking dingus. All right. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah, like, I'm just looking at the time. We're probably going by other living books. We're probably about halfway I am through. falling off a mountain. Oh, shit. I am plummeting through space. <laughs> you may see this does not please me by the frown <laughs> upon my face. I am very unhappy about falling. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we can click on? No? Alright. Eager to see how this finishes up. 
<laughs> it's a simple task to tell that <laughs> I've got a slight dilemma. That my day's not going well. You're not wrong. I have had a near-death experience previously, and yet <laughs> I had my life flash before my eyes very quickly, and um, yeah, it didn't take long. Increasing. I am dropping like a stone. I could do with some assistance. Well, I didn't think it, I, I got lucky. I, I got very lucky in that. I think I'm, I think I have talked about it on stream before. But um, yeah, no, it was just the, it was a car accident. No, I was more pissed off about wrecking the car. Which what well, yeah, it didn't no, end up being a total write off because I flipped it. I am prompted to relate that the landing has me worried. <laughs> and notice I, I did this motion, not wait. that motion, because that, that's the way I went forward and backwards flipped. Hmm. Yeah. I am running out of options. There's oh, that's, one that's thing what you gotta work to on. <laughs> In the next eleven seconds. I have got to learn to fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, all right. The ending on a literal... Oh, almost cliffhanger. I'm pre presuming it was cliffhanging on top of the mountain at the start. Homework. And just fell off. Oh, homework. I hate you. You stink. <laughs> I wish I could wash you away in the sink. <laughs> Little mouth noises on that one. Mm. Homework. Yeah, I don't know. Homework. It was a big project because I, I procrastinated a lot when I was a kid. Homework. And just, yeah, always left stuff to the last minute. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. <laughs> homework. Oh, homework. You're giving me fits. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, I've never reacted that way to him. All right. Yeah, it's a little I'd bit disappointing. It's the same hotspot nearly every time. With a man-eating shark. Or wrestle a lion alone in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yep, same again. Homework. <laughs> Homework. <laughs> Oh, we got a different one for that one. That's a quick one. All right. Eat spinach and liver. Yeah. Pet ten porcupines. Beep, 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 beep. Then tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Yeah, that seems like a... That, yeah, it's a lot of different homework. Homework. No. <laughs> okay. Homework. Oh, Homework. You're last on my list. I simply can't but see why you even exist. definitely got a charm to it. It's like, you could nearly put it in a Mad Magazine. Homework. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Homework. Probably, yeah, probably not distinctive enough. You just and they sort of already had simple artists in Mad, like, probably best examples, pink. Sergio Aragonis. Homework. Oh, homework. I hate you. You stink. Yeah, maybe that was the inspiration. Yeah, like apparently the um the poet himself didn't do well at school, and um yeah, this is just yeah his projection of it. Oh oh, this kind of got a Jabberwocky vibe to it. The I like diatonic that. Diatonic ditty munch <laughs> plucked music from the air. It swallowed scores of symphonies <laughs> and still had space to spare. Is, is this like the personification of like a, a music pirate? The guy that like downloads everything off Napster? Sonatas and cantatas slithered sweetly down its throat. It made ballads into salads. I do like that word and though, did he much? them note by note. Hmm. Does it, like, sp <laughs> do you spew out something good at least? It ate marches and mazurkas. It ate rhapsodies and real <laughs> minuets and tarantellas. 
I guess it's got good taste. It seems to be mostly, mostly like classical and polka from Marches of Marzikas. I just laughed at they had some ga the gangster rap and just choked and died. Outdid itself one day. It ate a three. Oh, oh, you opera. can't overfill it. Oh, that'd have to be. Um, oh shit! I just noticed. Uh, has has OBS crashed on me? Uh oh. That's uh, that's not good. If that's the case. Um. Yeah. No, I I dropped like a shit ton of frames just then. I just realised. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, the OBS has been playing up. I have a feeling it might be my internet connection, but I don't know. I have to troubleshoot a bit. But, um, yeah, no, I, I reckon that opera... I, I know, that's 4 acts. I, I was thinking it was like Ring Cycle or something like that. Both were rather fortunate and lived to fall again. Well, that's good. They kind of look like um, simplified Laurel and Hello. Hardy, don't they? How do you do? <laughs> Nothing else fun. Hello. How do you do? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I reckon the kids would be put off by this one too. Like, yeah, there's some good animation, but you've got to have that level of interactivity that keeps the kids interested as well. Bow and ounce just bounced and bounced. Oh. For he was round and rubbery. Round and rubbery. Oh, look at him go. It's bouncing off into the sunset. Still bouncing. Wow. Okay. Alright, what else have we got on there? We're getting some, like, interesting poems. Like, it's not just your standard kids stuff. I remember Roald Dahl had a My few interesting a ones like that. Probably a little more surreal. She's but, afraid um, of dogs. Yeah. No, I have, remember having like a little collection. And I think, yeah, that's right. It had Cold illustrations of like Quentin Blake and stuff. And she's terrified of rats. Well, that's, uh, they're all potentially dangerous. She screams at things with stingers. Things that buzz and things that crawl. Just the shadow of a spider sends my sister up the wall. Mm. You won't be a fan of Queensland then, I'm, I'm gonna presume. A lizard makes her shiver. And a turtle makes her squirm. She positively and not every lizard's bad. I remember the, the uh, geckos we used to get up there were pretty cute. Yeah, okay. What about the hotspot? Oh, it just waves at us. Okay. She's afraid of things with feathers. She's afraid of things with fur. She's scared of almost everything. How come I'm scared of her? <laughs> it's probably reasonable, dude. She seems mentally ill or like yeah, might have anxiety issues or something. It's it's probably fair enough. Maybe maybe get her on some um search or something. Okay, this is this has got potential. The bloater This is like the kids version of uh Sorcerer with Roy Schneider. <laughs> They are bursting left and right. Like vials of nitroglycerin or sticks. Don't of dynamite. shake it, you idiot. Well, well, you're gonna die. Oh, no, he doesn't have it. No, he's just exploding anyway. Okay. Bloaters, though. I did, um, I did make a start on that. Like, I got into, um, Mountain Blade Warband a while ago and I've moved on to, um, with Fire and Sword. And it's, yeah, interesting to play with um, muskets and they grenades because they shifted it up they, and, and they set it in a real setting. It's sort of around like 16th century Poland, Moscow. I know, um, what's the other thing in there? Oh, um, Cossacks. Yeah. Yeah, has an interesting sort of Slav vibe to it that I like. Yeah, they just keep exploding. Okay. Why has he got a glass of water next to him? 
for it's not gonna help you not explode. You're bound to go to pieces when you dine on TNT. Well, you could be um, ACDC and make a sweet song out of it. Get all fucking hacker dacker. All right, I'm done with that one. That was the other thing. I, I read the news this morning and, um, yeah, we. Oh, that's it. That's all of it. Okay. I'll we'll save the story poem. for the next one. Click on the arrows till you find one you'd like to hear. No, that you was... have a poem read to you. Click read yeah. to me. No, sorry, Jack. We're, um, inside we got poem. other games to move on to, I'm afraid. We'll, we'll have a look, quick look at it. I'll tell the story for the credits, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we don't need Are to do you previews. Are sure you want to quit? We're going to check credits first, Jack. But yeah, no, I read, read a news story. We have something. There's a radio station here called Triple J that does like a lot of indie stuff. Um, just stuff that's a bit not pop, essentially. But um, every year we've got Australia Day coming up on Wednesday. And... Um, yeah, they, they play, like, the hottest 100 um, songs for the year as voted by the people. And um, top spot is apparently um, The Wiggles. <laughs> I found intriguing, because they have this thing called um, Like A Version, which is, um, like, a, a band will come in and do a cover of another band's song. So The Wiggles came in to do Elephant by Tame Impala. And I haven't heard the original song of it, but they did a really good job. But yeah, that's that's um, top spot for the highest 100 this year. Oh, that was pretty cool. It was cool that like they've changed around. Some of the older ones have retired because they've been doing it since the 90s. But um, yeah, they had Jeff and Murray in the studio at the least. They uh, were the like two of the originals. And um, I remember Murray was on. Um, Specs and Specs a fair bit. Did enjoy the guest stars they had on there. I was actually thinking of doing something fun with, um, yeah, I've got creative stuff in mind. Like, um, I've grabbed all the, um, videos we've done for the year and I'm going to put them together as part of it's going to be a highlight reel, the other part's going to be a new intro to another Tom Waits song. So, yeah, you Are guys you got sure that you to look to forward to. Yeah, we're going to head, Jack. Thanks for that, anyway. All right. You enjoy Bye. the fun little poems. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals. 